Hi everyone and welcome to your booty burn workout. I'm so excited for today's class because we will just be focusing in on the glutes. It's one of my favorite areas to work. I'm not gonna use any equipment today, just doing this with my own body weight. However, if you do wanna level it up slightly, you can add in ankle weights. But rest assured, if you do this with no equipment, you will still get a really good burn. So whenever you're ready, meet me in the middle of your mat and we will get started. So coming down onto all fours, making sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. We'll start by taking a few deep breaths here. So taking an inhale through the nose and then exhaling out through the mouth. Inhale, feeling the ribs expand out to the side. And then exhale, draw your ribs down towards your hips, start to connect to your core. Inhale, feeling the ribs expanding, stomach is falling down to the mat. And then exhale, draw that belly button back towards your spine. Good work. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good work. Okay, from here, you are going to flex your right foot. And then we're going to go into donkey kick. So you're going to lift your heel to the ceiling, lower down. Lift that knee, squeeze the glute at the top lower down make sure that your hips are parallel if you have sore wrists you can come down onto your forearms trying to make sure that you're not shifting your weight all into your opposite leg exhale to lift inhale lower down keeping that core nice and strong so making sure you've got a nice flat back you're not collapsing through your rib cage Making sure that that back is nice and flat will just help protect the lower back. So if we're flaring through the rib cage and we're dumping into that lower back, you can cause yourself injury. So making sure that everything is nice and still, core engaged, nice flat back, just prevents any injury. Make sure that foot is flexed, you're sending your heel to the ceiling, squeeze the glute at the top, lower down. Just four more here. For three, two, on this last one, hold it at the top. Just give me tiny little lifts up and up. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. You're gonna point through your toe, you're gonna extend that leg long. From here, you're gonna tap the floor and lift, lower down and lift. Inhale to lower, exhale, lift. Again, make sure those hips are parallel. As I said, if you have sore wrists, you can come down onto your forearms. Everything is still the same, making sure that those hips are parallel, not opening up through the hip. And I really want you to squeeze under that smile line of your glutes. That's where you should be lifting up from. Just five more. You can do it. Keep it going for four, three, two on this last one hold we're going to go into rainbows here so you're going to lift your foot up you're going to tap it over to the opposite side then you're going to lift tap to the side so you lift and carry tap and lift so you're making a big giant rainbow with your toes keeping everything nice and still so keeping those hips as still as you can imagine i'm there with you and i've got hold of your hips and you can't move from side to side Focusing in on the breath. Just four more. For three. Two. On this last one, you're gonna hold it up in the middle. Just give me tiny lifts with that leg. So pulsing under that smile line again, making sure you're not dipping into that back. Just five more. Four, three, two, one and rest that knee down. Shake the hips out. We're gonna go straight into the other side. So from here, you're gonna flex through your foot. I was about to go into straight legs then. We're going into donkey kicks. So your foot is flexed. Exhale, send your heel to the ceiling. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Again, making sure that those hips are parallel. And working the glutes is so important, not only for our posture, 
but if you do have a sore lower back this building those glutes really helps to support the lower back so if you do feel like you have any lower back pain working on your glutes just helps relieve any pressure on that low back exhale to lift inhale lower down just four more for three two on this last one hold it lifted tiny lifts up and up for eight seven six five four three two one hold point through that toe extend the leg tap the toe to the mat and lift lower down and lift inhale to lower exhale lift try not to open up through that hip squeezing under that smile line not dumping into the low back just three more for two last one hold it lifted let's go into those rainbows so you tap the foot over to the opposite side you lift and carry so you lift up and lift so making big rainbows with your toe keeping those hips nice and still try not to sway from side to side it's not about how far you can get your leg across it's just making sure that we are getting that full range of motion where we can try looking towards the edge of your mat to have a nice long spine just three more for two keeping those ribs nice and high last one hold that leg in the middle just give me those lifts up tiny lifts for eight seven six five four three two one drop that knee down open the knees nice and wide sit back into your child's pose well done rocking the hips from side to side and then shifting your weight forward you're going to come to lay on your side so you're laying on your left side body your right leg is the one that we're working so coming all the way down your legs are going to be together so squeezing the heels together making sure that the hips are in line with the ankles making sure you're not flaring through your rib cage so your ribs are down and back getting into that rib to hip connection here again making sure your shoulders are away from your ears you can either have your hand placed down on your hip or if you want a challenge you can place your hand overhead from here you're going to float your heels off the mat squeeze the heels together you're going to open through the knee lower down open and close exhale lift inhale lower now i want you to imagine it's like you have a stick going through your hips and you can't rock your hips backwards and forwards so everything is nice and stable your pelvis is still rib cage is down towards your hips belly button is back towards your spine so we're working into the side of the glutes now really squeezing those heels together try and lift that leg up even higher if you can just five more you can do it really squeeze the glute at the back for four three two on this last one just hold it lifted just squeeze push that knee back even further squeeze that glute and lower it down good work this bottom leg is going to come into a 90 degree angle so your knee is in line with your hip and your shin is parallel to the mat you're going to extend that leg out long flex through your foot from here you're just going to lift that leg up lower down exhale lift inhale lower so i really want you to send that top hip away from you so if you need to you can stop put your hand on your hip and push that top leg away from you creating a tiny gap underneath your ribs flexing that foot really pushing out through your heel only connects deeper into the glutes exhale lift inhale lower five more for four three two on this last one hold it here from here you're going to bend the knee in you're going to extend the leg out you're going to give me two pauses up then you're going to tap the toe forward and then you're going to tap the heel back to so going into that mini rainbow 
and back. So combo is you bring the knee in, extend two pulses up, tap the toe forward, tap the heel back and center. You got it. Keep going with that combo. You can go faster than I am. You can go slower than I am. Whatever feels best for you in your body today. When you bring that knee in, I want you to try not to collapse through your hip. It's really easy to do. So as you bring that knee in, keep that hip where it is. You're really bringing that knee in. Squeeze the heel away from you. Pulse it up. Doing these combos is so good for us because it just distracts us. We're not thinking about anything else. You're just focusing on that combo, which is so good for our mental health. <laughs> We can't think about anything else but the movement that we're doing. Okay, wherever you are, last one, hold that leg out. Point through the toe. We're going to go into tiny circles here. Please don't hate me. My glutes are burning already, so I don't know if yours are. But if they are, please don't hate me. Tiny circles up and around. Just eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one hold and reverse for eight, seven, six, five, four, breathe through it, three, two, one, and drop it down, tap it out, tap out that glute. Good work. Okay, same thing on the other side. So flipping ourselves around, coming to lay all the way down. If you have sore wrists, you can place your head down onto your arm getting into that starting position so bending your knees in your heels are in line with your hips ribs are down towards your hips shoulders are away from you belly button is back towards your spine lifting those heels up squeezing the heels together you're going to open up through that top knee lower down lift and lower exhale to lift inhale lower down really want you to focus on that mind to body connection here so we're working the glute med which is the side glute muscle i want you to send your mind to that muscle squeeze it a little bit harder each time you lift it back keep going you can do it just five more here for four three two on this last one i just want you to hold it up push that knee back even further really squeeze that glute and lower it down bringing your bottom knee down into a 90 degree angle so that your knee is in line with your hip and your shin is parallel top leg is out long again i want you to push that top hip away from you to create that tiny gap underneath your ribs flexing through your foot you're going to lift that leg up lower down lift and squeeze and lower again i don't need to collapse into that hip as you lift keep that tiny gap and that hip away from you exhale to lift inhale lower down the second side is always the hardest but it's always because you know what's coming now <laughs> just five more for four three two last one hold it lifted we're going to go into that combo so you bring your knee in you push that foot away from you you give me two pulses up then you tap the toe forward and you tap the heel back back to center knee comes in extend two pulses up tap the toe forward tap the heel back and again As you tap the toe forward, I want that movement to come from your hip. So you're getting that external and internal rotation through the hip. Squeezing that glute as hard as you can. It doesn't last for very long, the burn, so keep squeezing as hard as you can. On this last one, wherever you are, hold it in the middle. You're going to point through that toe, you go into those circles, so up and around just eight more seven six think about that core connection five four three two one hold and reverse round last thing you can do it 
my last thing here anyway <laughs> one more thing to go after this just six more five four three two one and release it down tap out that glute well done everyone okay from here you're going to roll onto your back hands down by your side we're going to go into a glute bridge series to finish so hands are down by your side triceps are into the mat feet are underneath your knees you're going to tuck that tailbone under you're going to slowly roll yourself up into your shoulder bridge pushing out through your heels, making sure that you're not flaring through your ribcage, and then slowly roll back down. Good work. Last one, really pushing through your heels, scooping through your tailbone, pushing out through your heels. Again, feeling that rib to hip connection, so you're connecting to your core. And from here, you're gonna tap the glutes down to the mat, lift and squeeze. Tap it down and lift. Inhale down, exhale to lift. This shoulder bridge series, or just any shoulder bridge series, is one of my favourite ways to get deep into the glutes. So I've left it to last to be the juiciest one for us. Keep breathing, focus on that breath. Try and relax your jaw. Relax the face, just smile through it. Five more here. For four, three, two, last one. Hold those hips lifted. From here, you're gonna float your heels off. I'm gonna walk my feet slightly closer to me. And then you're gonna bring your hands up towards the ceiling. From here, you're going to lower the hips down. You're going to lift the hips up, flare the knees out to the side, and then bring them into touch. So you lower the hips down, lift and squeeze, flare the knees out, bring them into touch. Lower down, lift, flare the knees out, and in. Lower, lift, flare out, and in. So not only were, are we working the glute max now, but we're also working the glute mead and the inner thighs. Try and keep those shoulder blades down into the mat. Still focusing on that core connection. Flare the knees out, bring them in, lower down and lift. Five more. You can do it for four. Like I said, smile through it for three, two, Last one, you know what's coming, hold it at the top, bring your knees back to parallel, you're gonna give me tiny lifts up and up, really squeeze the glutes at the top. Lift them even higher and higher, I know you can do it. Just eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower those heels down, roll yourself down, hug your knees in and rock from side to side. Amazing work, everyone. We'll finish with a nice stretch. So crossing your right heel over your left thigh, hugging your knee in, coming into your figure four stretch. Just rocking from side to side, feeling a nice stretch through the glutes. And then switching sides. Your left heel is coming over your right thigh, hug that right knee in. Again, you can rock from side to side if this feels good for you. And then hug both knees in. Just rock and roll your spine up to seated. You're gonna place your hands down, push yourself back, and then we're gonna go into a pigeon pose. So bringing that right knee forward, coming into a pigeon pose, so making sure that your right foot is flexed, pushing yourself up into the palm of your hands, and then slowly lower yourself all the way down if that feels good for you. Getting that deeper stretch through the glutes and through the side of the glutes. And then pushing yourself up, switching sides. So tucking your back toes under, stepping back into a plank and then switching sides. Making sure that left foot is flexed just to protect your knee. And then lower yourself down. Taking a few deep breaths here. 
You should be really proud of yourselves for today. Building that strength through the glutes, like I said at the beginning, it's not only helping build nice juicy glutes, but it's also helping your posture and help support your lower back. And then rocking yourself onto your hips, onto your glutes, should I say. We've just been working them. I should know what they're called. Sitting in a cross leg position. We'll take one last deep breath to finish. So lifting the hands up overhead. And then exhale, drop your hands down. And you are all done. Great work, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that booty burn class. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so that we can work out together again. Or if you are doing this as part of the January challenge, I hope you're enjoying it so far and I will hopefully see you on the mat again tomorrow.